Hi, I'm Paul, and I love books, especially young adult books. Young adult books have been really popular recently, and I'm sure most of you have read at least one of The Hunger Games and maybe some of those Twilight books. I haven't read any of those or seen any of the movies, so I can't judge. So this video is for if you've read The Hunger Games trilogy, or at least seen the movie, or if you just like to read young adult books like me. I'm gonna go through a few books that I think you'll like if you like The Hunger Games. Almost all the books I'm gonna talk about have a strong female lead and they're in a post-apocalyptic world. So the first three books I'm gonna to talk to you about, you might have heard of because they're more popular. You might have seen them in your local bookstore or even at like Walmart or Target. Divergent by Veronica Roth. So this is the first in a trilogy and the third book's coming out this October. It's also uh, being made into a movie right now. They're in production. It's about Chicago in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, there's five different factions. So it's kind of like the houses in Harry Potter. So if you like sorting yourself in the houses, you can figure out which faction you'd be in. I think a cool thing about it is that it takes place in just one city, um, kind of similar to The Giver, which most of you, I hope, have read. And if you haven't read The Giver, you should read that immediately. But um, it takes place in just one city instead of taking place um, in a whole country or the whole world is under one government or something like that. Matched by Ali Condi. This is also uh, the first in a trilogy and all three of them are out. Um, it's more on the romance side than Hunger Games. So if you liked the, the love triangle in the Hunger Games, you'll probably like this. In this book, you're matched with someone that you're supposedly compatible with when you're 16, I think. And the main character in this book, when she's shown her person that she's compatible with, she also sees someone else. So it has that love triangle in it. Uglies by Scott Westerfield takes place in a world where um, everyone is considered ugly. And at a certain age, you get a procedure done when it turns you pretty. All the ugly people live together and they all want to be pretty. They uh, want to have that. It's something that they put on a pedestal, but being pretty isn't what it turns out to be. The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stas. So this one, the cover just looks really awesome. Can you see that? Yeah. It's a really cool cover. And that was the reason I picked up the book actually. Actually, I think I saw the cover online before I even saw it in the stores and I was like, I have to get that book. In this book, um, there are people that are considered forsaken and they are taken away from society and they're on this island. The people on the island are supposedly uh, more violent and more likely to commit crimes. So the protagonist of this is one of those people that ends up on this island. And it's similar to The Hunger Games because it has that um, brutality. The whole idea of kids killing each other. And the last book that I recommend is Labyrinth by Pearl North. This book takes place in this massive labyrinth. It's also a library. So if you like books like me, just the concept of a massive labyrinth that's also a library is pretty awesome. This is also kind of post-apocalyptic, but it's more fantasy, I guess and it's the first in a trilogy and the whole trilogy's out and the last book in this like totally blew my mind like there's a explanation reveal at the end of the third book that like it was crazy like it's awesome so those are my recommendations to you for if you like the hunger games hopefully you'll go out and pick one of those books up or get the ebook of it and read it um if you have read any of these books comment below and tell me how they were, if you agree with me. If you think of a book that also is similar to The Hunger Games, let me know. Um, you can find me on the internets in lots of places. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and uh, my blog where I post book reviews and all that information is down below. Thanks and I'll see you next time.